So when I was around 13, I got into a weird homebrew futuristic cyberpunk D&D Discord server full of mostly total strangers and a few of my older friends. The way it worked was that we would have the usual questing, but also open roleplay all other times to encourage character building. I was really into the roleplay, developing my characters constantly. However, the people in the server turned out to be prone to an argument. Sounds like every Discord server yeah. I've ever been on. Yeah. And it was an overall chaotic environment. The DM was a weird guy who controlled people's characters without asking, and was always putting them in weird sexual situations. Ding, 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 ding! You know where this is going, We boy. have a winner! <laughs> this, is like, this is like RPG horror story bingo. <laughs> Does it involve any form of sexual misconduct disorders? Well, you're going to get sent to HR now! <laughs> That's exactly what it is. I specifically asked not to be involved in these, because they made me uncomfortable. Mostly I avoided it by making my character a minor and male. This changed when I brought in a new character. A 19 year old female who I will call Q. So for one of the conflicts our characters faced, a demon, controlled by DM, kidnaps a little boy and we have to rescue him. Pretty standard stuff. Then things got weird. The demon claimed that he would give the boy back if Q became his sex slave. Oh, oh God. my God! <laughs> what have we Here got we go. ourselves into? Instantly, <laughs> oh, you, you want to say hello to my demon of Svanesh right here? I said I wouldn't go through with it, and that it made me uncomfortable. And well, the DM didn't like that. After the session, in the free roleplay time, the DM's lovely demon lad possesses the body of an 11 year old boy from a nearby town. And while I was offline, went into unfortunate detail in the chat of how he sexually assaulted Q. Right, time to get child now. While still in the body of an 11 year old boy, mind you, then left her branded and pregnant for me to find in the server the next day. I was obviously upset and this exchange took place over an instant message. Me. I didn't agree for my character to get fucking pregnant. This is gross. DM. You think it's gross because you're gay, right? Oh my god. <laughs> Note. I had never mentioned my gender or sexuality on the server. Me. No, but I don't want my character to be pregnant. DM. Well, she is now and she has to have this baby. Not sure what else to do. I made Q jump off a building to your death and left the server for good. <laughs> I later discovered that the DM was around 17 or 18 during this time and was fully aware of my age. Yeah, look, honestly, I, I really want to believe people like this are not real. However, I have There's met, too many. There's... I have met some genuine fucking mentals on Discord. Yeah. You know, Discord's just a really weird social media. It's a weird... It's... I do enjoy it. Now, don't get me wrong. I do love Discord. Oh, I like Discord. I really like Discord. Just the yeah. mentality of it. But... Some of the people in it are too in it. Sometimes <laughs> it's like, you know what? We t it's time to build that wall. And we're gonna, we're, I'm going to make the degenerates pay for it, all right? <laughs> That's what we're going to do. Right, on with the next story, will we? My boyfriend and me really wanted to play some D&D, so we made a post on the Roll20 looking for a group subreddit. I've had some previous experience with 3rd edition, and my boyfriend never played D&D. We both played some Dungeon World together, and had a blast, but wanted to try playing with other people. Sure enough, a few people replied to our post, and after several days, we agreed to make a Discord group slash server and play on Roll20. Our group ended up consisting of me, my boyfriend, a cute and cool Canadian girl and her younger brother, the DM, and his 14-year-old son, the absolute that guy, chaotic neutral rogue. How did you guess? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why do they always play rogues? Because it's edgy. It's edgy in a world, okay? Mm. You know, and I skulk in the shadow that nobody can see me. <laughs> you, know, you know, it makes me really sad that I used to play an undead rogue in World of Warcraft. That's because you were, you are edgy. Yeah, know, you think you're edgy. I'm not that bad. All right, I just want to commit war crimes against the pagans in the West March server, but that's about it, all right? Come on, okay. let's keep going. <laughs> the Canadian girl and her younger brother are both fun and won't be featured much, as they didn't contribute to the horror at all. The DM was very light on the rules, and the role-playing aspect was not exactly encouraged from the start, but that could be forgiven. 
We're all relative beginners. I wanted to believe that would warm up to the game after a few hours. The adventure was supposed to take place in some homebrew world and started off in a tavern. We were tasked with tracking down some bandits in a cave next to the town. Since we mostly just introduced ourselves and talked to the quest giver, that guy left to sleep in the middle of the first session and didn't join until session two. Long story short, that guy absolutely had to roll investigation on every single body, corpse, sack, looting, literally everything. The DM allowed this because, of course, it was his kid. This caused everything to take forever. I have no idea how many times he did that, but it was very clearly equivalent to opening every barrel in <laughs> Skyrim. Fuck! Yeah, like, <laughs> like, like, we all know. Like, I just want that sweet loot, all right? I know. But you're not going to always get that sweet loot. You know what I mean? It's time and a place. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? You know, you just know what you're going to get. Yeah. I prefer it whenever the DM just like rolls it up at the end. It's like, oh, by the way, you got X, Y, Z, whatever. Yeah. You know what I mean? Instead of taking the time to fucking roll. It, just, it, it takes it out of the experience. You know yeah. what I mean? Just keep it, you know? <laughs> Immediately as we entered the cave with the bandits, he wandered off, trying to loot whatever he could. He got ambushed by some zombies, ran away at 1 HP, and immediately looted the adjacent room. (laughs) (laughs) Fuck's sake. Having conveniently found two potions, he drank one. It was a healing potion. And so he rushed back to engage the zombies again, complaining that we were not there. Tried to cut out the tongues of bandits we've defeated in the cave, repeatedly. When ignored, he just repeated his intention, louder and louder, multiple times. (laughs) Could survive maybe three minutes without attention, and that might be a stretch. When we were busy narrating our actions, he suddenly started talking about Pokemon Sword and Shield, which he had played in the meantime, since there's nothing else to do. We're currently considering finding another grip, since our enjoyment of the game is quickly evaporating. We're going to talk to the DM first, of course. Be honest with you. That's just a child. Yeah. What age did they say was again like 14? Let's be honest, he's probably a wee bit younger. You know, like, you can't really blame him. Cause, he's you know, 14, like... Mm. You know, don't get me wrong, just don't play with children. You know what I mean? I would yeah. agree with that. Don't I, play with kids unless you are a kid. Yeah, I would agree with that. Basically. I think, like, you know, play with people, like, you know, I think... Unless what, you're, like, playing with your own kid. Yeah. But, like, the DM was doing that. But, like... It's... Kind oh, of, it's you know, iffy. I know, it's... It's, like, you know what I mean? Kids just... Oh, they're not ready to play. They don't have the attention span. You know, they, they're they already playing with other kids the same age because they kind of want to do the same thing. Yeah. But it depends on the group dynamic and shit yeah. like that. And especially if you're playing with And the, that, to be like, honest, the ones who wrote that story seem to take it seem to want to take their game very seriously. Oh, yeah. Where the kid was just like, fucking look, look, fucking (laughs) look. No, overall, not the worst first, right? I think the the last fella was a lot worse than this one, if I'm being honest. Yeah, 100%. Right, on to the next one. Disclaimer. This has nothing to do with D&D Pathfinder or anything like that. This happened on an app called Amino, and the community was about roleplay, and there was a bit of game aspect to it, but it was mostly about roleplay. So, like I said... This happened in a role-playing community, and that was before I accepted that I was trans. So I was like, yeah, I want to be a girl role-playing as a girl and be treated as a girl out of character, but I'm totally a guy and I'm a 100% 100% cis IRL. Oh my god. <laughs> that, that was a fucking mouthful. <laughs> my, <laughs> my nickname in that community was literally Lucy, male, IRL. What? 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 No, oh, her, like, screen name was Lucy, and then in brackets, male, IRL. Oh, okay, okay. Creep hits me up in DM, asking if I wanted to roleplay. I said, sure, Creep. You fine with erotic roleplay? Me. I mean, the curator literally just asked us to dial down on horny roleplays. Creep. They can't see our DMs anyway, so why don't we just do some erotic roleplay and send each other pictures of one another as we do whatever our characters are doing? Right, I'm going to put it out here right now. Uh, any of you guys that are on the Discord from like a long time ago, any of you guys remember Grand Wizard's Thirst Chamber? That I had to physically remove? We, we had to actually be like, um, why did you just decide to give all the girls on the server a femoid, femoid role, role and give them a private chat and then it just turned them to, God, please, this is a thirst chamber. It, is a f- it, it was it, a pure it was a thirst, thirst chamber. chamber. It's time to stop, okay? I was and like, nah, just, I'm just deleting this shit up. <laughs> like, what do you mean you don't want all the female fucking people, all the, all the femoids on your Discord server? You don't want to be harassed? What? <laughs> all right, okay, keep going. Let's see what happens. 
Now, I should note at this point that on your profile, you had a little bio. In my bio, literally the first two lines were limits. Pictures, videos, voice recordings, anything that has to do with me, IRL. Yeah, it seems pretty that yeah. some old people don't want to put a yeah. pit face on the internet, yeah. you know? Me. I don't feel comfortable sharing pictures of myself, let alone nudes with a random stranger online. Creep. Come on, girl, you know you want it. Me. Uh, you do know that I'm a guy IRL, right? Me. Like it's literally in my name. Lucy. Male. IRL. And then he blocked me. And a curator of the community later reached out to me about an anonymous report that I was sexually harassing people in DMs. Oh, bitch. Oh, of course. No. Oh, my God. No, that <laughs> this was... girl didn't send me nits. I'm going to report oh, her. <laughs> I, that, to me, that, that, that shit would boil my piss. So when, yeah. if some boy was trying to get on like that, you know... Like, I'm sorry to say, stop being a thirsty asshole. You know what I mean? Like, you know, that, like, what, what other words is there to put on that? Stop being a thirsty asshole from time to time, okay? Right? You know, I get it. Boys need the dick sucked. You know, they're going to be like, but, ooh, female. But mm. they're not even going to you know, do it. You're not going to get it sucked in the internet. Yeah, exactly. Like, mm, God, yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> female. <laughs> James, your face, please. Uh, I, I wish I had a fucking. I mean, should I have had the way I come on for that. <laughs> no. Else, you? Uh, but no, no. Look, um, I hope you guys enjoyed these three short stories. You know, no, we don't like get to do short stories like this all that often. And like, you know, eh, I thought they were fun. You know, I always enjoy horror stories because. It's just fun laughing at other people misery. You know what I yeah. mean? Let's be serious. It's like, ha, I know I'm bad, but at least I'm not like... Not se- bad? And at least I'm not like sexual pervert on the internet bad. You know what I mean? Like, I, I have my problems, don't get me wrong. But, but I not- also have my limits. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, like, I hope you guys enjoyed this too. Remember, links down below. Check it out. We got 3D models. We got some really nice new shit coming in. You, you guys are you guys are just going to have to look forward to it, I'm telling you. Keep an eye on the 3D printing models. Though. They're going to look really fucking yeah. good. But also, check out my channel while you're here. Yeah. Make us a link down below. Um, spooky stories, all that type of stuff. Um, but no, if you guys have any suggestions, if you have guys any submissions, remember, sub that, it's a thing. All the other good stuff. We don't really show that often, but like, no. you know. Now, nah, we'll leave it there. So we will. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I enjoyed it anyway. I had a bit of a fun with I had a bit of that yeah. with it. I, I enjoyed it. Stay so safe. Stay at home. Wash your balls. On your butt. Don't eat people's asses on the internet because it might just turn out to be meal IRL. <laughs> <laughs> I'll leave it there. <laughs> <laughs>